Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now, today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips, but these clips were taken shortly before the most recent update, so that's why the animals in this video are still going to have the old medals, as this was just before the release of the Modern Rifles pack that also saw some population resets and, of course, the new medals. But starting off here on Rancho del Arroyo, and in front of us here we have a level 6 blue bobcat. Now as he stops to go alert there, I am going to drop him with the 243, and that did drop him on the spot. Now from everything I have seen personally and everything I've seen in the community, these guys are now a rare. They used to be an uncommon, but with the Mississippi update they do seem to have actually become a rare, which they should have been a rare from the moment they were introduced as these guys are extremely rare in real life. In my opinion, they should never have been an uncommon. And yeah, it's really, really cool to actually see that they have now become a rare. This is actually the first one I have seen since the release of Mississippi. And I actually have been hunting the bobcats pretty hard. So if they were still an uncommon, I would have seen a lot more of these guys by now. But this guy is actually a gold scoring blue at 24. That is a really, really beautiful cat. And I was actually really excited to finally have a reason to tax one of these to put into the lodge. Because they are absolutely stunning. And like I said, they should have been a rare from the very beginning. These should never have been an uncommon. So that was really, really cool to find. Sticking with the theme of bobcats here on Rancho del Arroyo. And as you guys will see, we have a nine legendary out in front of us. Now, unfortunately, I did end up spooking this guy from his drink zone on this multiplayer server, so I did have to chase him around for a little bit, but thankfully, he ends up going nervous right there, so just going forward a little bit to make him go alert again, so that hopefully he will present me with a shot opportunity, and I thought I could just maybe see an angle that I could get a shot there, so I moved just very, very slowly and very, very slightly just to get a slightly better angle, and managed to put a very solid vital hit on him that drops him on the spot. Now, like I said, this guy is the tan fur type, and these guys are just so beautiful. Honestly, such a fantastic model in the game. They look amazing. Picking this guy up, he is a diamond at 27.90, and you can see that that shot, I was really actually really happy with that shot placement. I was nervous about going for that shot, but it paid off really, really well. And as a result, we have a really beautiful diamond tan bobcat for the Trophy Lodge. Now, moving on to a clip again on Rancho del Arroyo, and again of a nine legendary bobcat, but this time this guy was actually on my own map, and I was trying to get a decent shot angle at him from across the lake here as I wasn't sure how else I was going to really get a shot at him because of all the brush that is around this lake so I was trying to get him to go alert so I could get a shot at him he was just going attentive so again I'm moving around just trying to get an angle he's still alert there and something really odd happened here he goes to alarmed which I wasn't expecting him to do and then he goes to fleeing so I was like okay it's a bobcat he's probably not going to go that far they don't they don't really flee very far they run quite slowly and of course they quite often do this thing where they just stop and stand there and this is what really really just completely made me laugh honestly is he stood there fleeing and i'm waiting for him to go back to being nervous so that I, again i can try and get a shot at him and he just goes straight back to being nervous and drinking in the same spot where he was just stood there fleeing which I've never seen that happen before and I thought that was just so entertaining. But finally he goes alert there and I've got a much better shot angle and I drop him on the spot. So he got brought down really well there again by the 243 and this time this guy is the grey fur type which is basically the old common fur type from what I can understand. So let's pick this guy up and see what he scores. This guy scores 27.80 so a little bit smaller than the previous one but he is still a diamond and a little bit over the requirement because the requirement is 27.60 and that shot was pretty much exactly what I wanted lung, liver and stomach. So again Again, the 243 being an absolute powerhouse for these guys and nice to get this one off of my own map before the reset. 
Moving on now to a clip from Mississippi Acres, and I was actually in this area to hunt alligators when I saw a herd of whitetail running away, and amongst them there looked to be a pretty dark looking whitetail buck. And sure enough, I went and picked up the track and it was actually a melanistic. And he is just hanging around back there, so I'm just going to use the 22 to make them go alert, just to try and get a better shot angle at him. And it does actually make them turn and start heading back this way. So again, I'm just trying to move around there to get a shot through the trees. And as he's walking towards me here, I take a shot and that drops him on the spot back there in those trees. The M1 did a perfect job at bringing him down there, but nice and quickly. It's right on where I dropped him and yeah, beautiful little melanistic. He is only a small little level two, but these guys are really rare. You don't see an awful lot of melanistic whitetail, so I couldn't resist going and chasing this guy down. And I actually ended up hitting this guy in the neck. That shot was higher than I thought it was. But again, M1 did a fantastic job at bringing him down with that shot. No problem at all. And I decided to tax him just because I quite like the antlers that this guy has. They may only be small, but I just quite like how they're configured. So that was a nice little surprise. Moving on from one melanistic animal to another, and this time we're on Quattro Colinus on my own map where once again I was just checking around before the reset to make sure I wasn't missing any trophies, and I ended up finding this, a female melanistic Basiti Ibex. Now, it is only a female, it would have been really cool to find a male, but even still this is a really cool find and I was very very happy to actually come and get her before that reset. So dropping her there with the M1, no problems at all. And these guys are really beautiful. I love the melanistics, the sort of blue colour eyes as well. They just look really, really beautiful. Now I was trying to get a nice background here that actually would be uh, nice enough to show off the sort of melanistic colour. So I went with this and as you will expect she is a bronze being a small female. Double long shot there with the M1, no problems at all bringing her down. And I decided I will tax her just as a placeholder and I would hope to eventually get a male melanistic. But for now she will go in the trophy lodge and she is still absolutely beautiful. Now sticking to my own Quattro Colinas map and I figured I would go around and just check that there weren't any other trophies hiding out and I ended up finding something pretty cool here with the Ronda Ibex. In the back of this group there is a pretty big level 5 and I do think the Rondas are probably my favourite species of Ibex in the game. I just really love how their horns look, they're just so incredible. So as soon as this guy gives me a shot we are going to take him with the M1 and honestly this made me panic a little bit that he didn't drop on the spot, but I figured I must have just got through to single lung and he went down so quickly that I knew I must have hit vitals. So checking this guy out on the ground and just those horns are just so cool. The shape of them and how thick they are, they just look absolutely incredible. I just absolutely love the Rondas. Every time I find a big level 5, it's always really cool. So picking this guy up, he is a 108.30 diamond Ronda. And yeah, he just looks epic. Those horns are really, really nicely shaped. He is just a beautiful, beautiful specimen. They just, I, I know I say it all the time whenever we do find a big Ronda, but they just do look so cool. Like that is a really awesome looking animal. So I was really, really happy to actually get this guy down. Again, before the reset, he would have been gone the next day. So I was really happy about that. Now, for the last few clips of this video, once again, we are going to be here on Mississippi Acres hunting some raccoons. Now, once again, I have still been searching for that ever elusive albino. I still have not found one, but once again, I have found some more raccoon trophies that aren't an albino. And we're starting off here with a grey fur type level 5. And it's just so funny to me that it took me so long to actually get a diamond grey fur type. And then not long after, I end up finding this guy and he's got a pretty decent estimate of 11 to 13 so he's got a score right in the middle of that estimate to be a diamond and this is definitely my favorite fur type for the the common fur types for these guys and this guy is a diamond at 12.50 so actually quite high scoring for that estimate and yeah another diamond gray for the lodge and these guys just look so fantastic and because they can fit on the smaller plaques I've definitely got room for more raccoons 
But moving on swiftly to the next clip and another raccoon, and this time a little bit different, I actually spotted this one in its rest zone, which is something I don't actually do a lot. Normally I find them whilst I've chased them out of rest zones, but this guy you can see is actually led there in a rest zone, which was a little bit different. And this guy is a blonde fur type, guaranteed diamond with that estimate of 12 to 14. And of course 12 is the minimum requirement for diamond, so this guy definitely will make it. And we're just going to put a shot into him there with the 22 and that will bring him down fairly quickly. And this is actually the last video where I'll be able to shoot trophy raccoons with the 22 because of course with the most recent update these guys did actually become a class 2. So now we're going to be using things like the 243 and the 223 to bring these guys down. So these are basically the last ones that I'm ever going to shoot with a 22 on video. And this guy is a diamond at 12.40, another beautiful blonde diamond raccoon. Now for the last clip of this video, and perhaps my favourite highlight out of all of these, I ended up finding this guy. That right there is a level 3 male melanistic raccoon. Now I picked up this guy's track on a multiplayer server, thankfully I ended up getting host of the server, I found this guy's rest zone, so I switched it back to his rest zone time and managed to actually go and chase him out of that zone. Unfortunately the zone was in a really really thick brush and despite me trying to sneak in there and get a sort of close shot at him, it just didn't work out and he ended up spooking, but I did manage to get him there as you guys will have just seen. And these guys are really quite rare, this is only the second one I have found and they are absolutely beautiful. So let's pick him up and see what he scores. He is a silver 8.10 melanistic raccoon. These guys are just so so cool and it's not the albino I was looking for but I will definitely take another melanistic to put into the trophy lodge. But that is going to be it for this video guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Last look at the old medals which I think most of us are missing at this point. And yeah, some really cool trophies that I managed to snag just before they would have got reset. Thank you guys so so much for watching as always and for all your support and everything you do. It means everything to me and I will always say it. Thank you guys so so much and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.